Hello and welcome. There's a new expansion announcement for Guild Wars. So we're going to check it out. I'm so stoked right now. You may say, but Trey, there hasn't been any new Guild Wars content on the channel in a while. No, I'm trying to beat a bunch of games for review before the end of the year for goaties. Then we're going to get back to Guild Wars again. Check it out. I'm so excited. Cycle in. This might actually spoil things for me for End of Dragons. I'm not sure. Make sure deep it. Tower falters. Okay. Can you protect Tyrion, champion? Can you do it, commander? Okay. Secrets of the Obscure. Ooh. All right. Standard edition, deluxe edition. Comes with a shared inventory slot, max level boost, magic juggle, emote tome, astral ward, feathered raptors. Okay, nice. Any repair kit, additional character slot. Ultimate edition also comes with 4,000 gems. Repurchase and get an arcane spell weaver's hat, eagle eye weapon set, demon hunter title. So... They had said before we probably weren't getting new, like, elite specs and stuff for it. This art is looking really cool. Now that we're done with the dragons, where do we go next? Did the mist? What's going on here? I don't think there's going to be anything more there. Yeah. There's some whispers there. I want to go back and listen to those whispers, but... I'm really interested in what's going on here. And they call us champion, not commander. Really interesting. Yeah, no, I'm I'm stoked. Secrets of the Obscure. Again, kind of a shame we're not getting new elite specs, but I get it. There's a lot of them in the game right now. I'm assuming we're going to be getting some new masteries. So, that's always hype. But, what is, and what is this thing? It's got legs like a uh, Chat Queen. Ah, but it looks like the legs are actually like on the shoulders of this thing. In the hunt for the truth. Okay. Definitely interested. What are they whispering here? I don't know, I can't make it out, but it sure sounds like the mist. Captions are unavailable, but it sounds like that mist effect going on. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below for Secrets of the Obscure. It really is just an announcement. We don't have any other real information on it yet, but I am stoked. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And until next time, I've been Trey. This has been the Full Spectrum. Remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum. The Secrets of the Obscure has to offer. Hold on, we're not done, because there was a combat update for Secrets of the Obscure that they dropped. I, I checked it. We got to we gotta go over this, okay. Also, a big balance update that I haven't looked at at all yet, and I'll get into that afterwards. Uh, okay, well, anyway. Um, today we announced Guild Wars 2 Secrets of the Obscure, a new expansion launching later this year. If you're looking for a high-level overview of the expansion as a whole, check out the official site. We also released a massive balance update. Full changes that tee up expansion features. What features are those? Okay, combat philosophy. Yeah, they talked about how they were looking to weigh four ways to add meaningful combat choices other than specs. Core trait lines and three expansions worth of elite specs. Each profession already has access to a ton of roles and playstyles. Think of the obscure. We focused on efforts on bolstering and refining existing combat systems. Okay and removing limitations to put even more compelling build choices in your hands. One of the best parts about an expansion release is getting used a new weapon and weapon skill from Elite Specs. Yes, of course, it, it changes everything about the class. Up until now, you can only equip each Elite Specs weapon by locking yourself into that Elite Spec. Charge into the fray as a hammer-wielding hollow smith, or control the battlefield as a firebrand with a longbow. So that's gonna completely change up the animations too. Weapon Master Training, which turns the elite spec weapons already associated with each profession into core proficiencies. 
Once you've unlocked Weapon Master Training, Guild Wars 2 Secret of the Obscure, you'll be able to use elite weapon, elite spec weapons without the corresponding trait line equipped. That's really cool. This will be the case even if you haven't trained an elite spec. It means that even if you don't own the other expansions, you'll be able to mix and match weapons from the elite specs associated with them. You need to own the appropriate expansion to fully unlock each elite spec to make use of its trait line. Not to mention getting the signature weapon armor piece, yeah. Weapons that will become part of each profession's core proficiencies. So Guardian will get Axe for main hand, Sword for offhand and longbow. Right. Revenant will get Shield for offhand, Great Sword, Shortbow. So these will just be all, all the spec weapons, right? You get to have these now whenever you want, which is very cool. Uh, warrior, Dagger, Main and Offhand, Pistol, Offhand, Torch, Offhand, Engineer, Mace, Main Hand, Sword, Main Hand, Hammer, Ranger, Dagger, Main Hand, Hammer, Staff, Thief, Scepter, Main Hand, Rifle, Staff, Elementalist, Sword, Main Hand, Warhorn, Offhand, Hammer, Mesmer, Axe, Main Hand, Dagger, Main Hand, Shield, Offhand, Necromancer, Pistol, Main Hand, Torch, Offhand, Great Sword. Very cool. Also introducing a few new skills for edge cases like Berserker's Primal Blast while building a dagger. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Or the Unteams Unleashed, Untamed's Unleashed Ambush while building a staff. I was really curious if it would let you. That's cool. All right. We're excited about the new freedom this open up for all types of players. If you simply prefer a particular weapon, be free to equip that weapon regardless of your elite spec. That also means if you do have an Ascended or Legendary weapon, you don't have to switch off of that when you're changing your spec, which is really cool. If you like experimenting, optimizing your build, you have a ton of new combinations. Yeah, for sure. Builds are going to be crazy fun with this. Be able to try out Weapon Master Training, combine different weapons and elite specs during our beta weekend, which will run from June 29th to July 2nd. Very cool. Uh, in the same spirit of opening more meaningful build choices, we're excited to be streamlining the rune system. Okay. Runes have five tiers of relatively straightforward stat bonuses. Yeah, and the six tiers of wild card. Yeah. Uh, the wild card six tier arbitrarily linked two build components to a single choice. Yeah, you had to use those. Even with the theme of combat updates, we're splitting these into separate choices. First release on August 22nd, the six tier of each rune will instead complete the stat bonus associated with the rune set, and the additional special effect or conditional bonus will be removed entirely. Special bonus effects combat aren't going away. We split them into their own build components. You can choose both the stats you want and the special effect nice and that's coming with relics okay relic slot that becomes usable at level 60 many of the relics that are available to players regardless of expansion ownership will cover the functionality a popular six tier rune bonus relic of the troopers effect is identical to the previous six tier trooper rune effects remove a condition from each affected ally after using a shout skill other core relics will have updated effect compared to the six tier that also means they get to make new ones without having to tie them to runes which is really cool upon striking enemy Weapon skill that is cooldown and resource cost gain 1% strike damage for six, stack, six seconds up to a maximum of five stacks. Restoration of all stacks six seconds. Okay, that's cool. Nice. Generally, you'll be able to get relics through crafting, instance content like fractals, strike missions, reward tracks, achievements, and more. Celebrate the new systems will distribute a relic selection box to all players at launch. Uh, yeah, uh, Secrets of the Obscure owners can look forward to expansion exclusive relics as well. Again, that lets them make new ones. That they wouldn't have otherwise an expanded weapon prof Ooh. creating each profession proficiency with an additional weapon you can play with a new weapon and changing out your first five skills one of the most impact it is it absolutely is weapons and weapons and it, it gives more identity to the classes too because you get to pick the weapons for the abilities you want right and to satisfy that same itch of a new skill set we just focused on making these weapons fit with the existing trait lines Okay, this plan for the second major release after launch. Uh, Guardian, Pistol, Main, and Offhand. Ooh. Revenant, Scepter, Main Hand. Okay. Uh, Warrior, Staff. Okay, yeah. Engineer, Short Bow. Really? Okay. That'll be interesting. That'll be really interesting. Ranger, Mace, Main, and Offhand. Yeah. Thief, Axe. Okay, for Main Hand, for Axe. Elementalist, Pistol, Main Hand. Mesmer will get Rifle. Okay. And Necromancer gets regular sword, main and offhand. And then we're previewing all of this apparently on uh, even play for free accounts. You create a beta character and take the changes out for a spin. We're going to do that for sure. Uh, it's just a few days away. So yeah, that's happening. Super stoked for that. And it's coming out August 22nd. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And until next time, I've been Trey. This has been the full spectrum. I'm so stoked for this. 
Remember to always enjoy the full spectrum that Guild Wars 2 has to offer.